is white in this game. We can close Mr. Engine. Knight of 3b6, Queen's Indian on the board. The sign to definite Queen's Indian is e6b6. Sorry, I have to eat this. It's very, very hot. Knight c3, bishop b4, bishop g5, bishop b7. Into engine defense, three knights, do ham, do champ, <laughs> yes, we do champ, the champ variation. Thank you, Jobster. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Deep appreciate it. Thank you so much. E3, H6. Bishop H4, Bishop takes C3. Okay, so now we have little comment that um, G5 was possible. We could uh, take a look of Tao's previous games in the, this variation with G5. It's gonna be quick take a look with the G5. Bishop g3, knight e4, queen c2, d6, bishop d3, bishop takes c3, b takes c3, g3. It's a super forcing line though. Um, Tau Turek, there's a f5 continuation the previous game. And this game, h6, g3, knight e7, a4, a5, fixing, rook b1, g4. Knight is for knight of six. Hmm, we have a diagram here. Let let's check out very fast. I also don't know what's going on. The best way is just to keep going. Castling. Knight is seven. D takes e six. Queen takes e six. Bishop f five. Queen takes e four. Rook f d one. The question is if white is having enough compensation for the. Uh, pawn down because the black king is still in the center. Hey, hey, Miss Soch. Hey, Mr. Ketchup. <laughs> okay, so we take a look with you guys together. The books knight of six, rook d4, queen c6, some counter attack here. All right, so now we have a diagram. Wow. This is the game inside. Tau against Gligoric in Belgrade, 1959. This is another game. Like how his opponent could continue with the G5. Uh, okay, let me check out. Visually striking move. Okay, if you're white here, what you're supposed to choose? You're good covering. You're good covering G2, yeah? But the question is how to keep going with attacking here. Which piece must be improved and how to work against the weak position of the king? How many tactics. Uh, what kind of tactics uh, you're supposed to see? Let me know. Queen 4 is a blunder. Bishop e6 is interesting. It's interesting move played by Mikhail Tao. But the best move is something else. Can you find out the best move? Rook e1, I like it because you bring a new attacker, so you're supposed to push, 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 open up the game. There we go. You bring more attackers. I like rook e1, but it's not rook e1. Bishop e6 is the move in the game. It's interesting, but not the best. Move the bishop where? Prophylaxis. This is very simple shot, but not enough forcing way, let's say. There is a one very, very genius move. Something else done there. 
Do you hear the music so loud? I'm not sure how loud you hear the music, to be fair. <laughs> Every time you blame on me that it's sleepy music, I'm not sure. It's supposed to be no copyright music by YouTube. Rook B4 seems like crazy and blundering. Random, Mr. Random. Bishop D3 again. How to Nelson is and be, 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 little before him. All right, Mr. Ketchup too. So one of the plan is Bishop B5. There we go. And what's the second plan after Queen said castling? One move with the two threats. One of it was a Bishop B5 pin. What's the second one? Give us a break. Come on, we just start. We just start now. <laughs> hey, you, you're supposed to step here, but don't forget about G2, please. <laughs> you don't need F5. Please, you don't need that. Please. <laughs> Put away that book and try to find moves by yourself. <laughs> Rook C4. Mr. Hammer, there we go. Rook C4. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. What is guarantee Rook C4? Come on, this this is tactic in one. Uh, B6 is also quite hanging. Don't think about that everything what I'm talking is in the book. <laughs> Very often I'm adding my imagination. I'm adding uh, different lines, different questions to you. <laughs> so I'm coloring the book. Believe me, most of the cases books are very boring. Um, yes, so there we go. Bishop d3, genius. Sometimes you should retreat, just come back home with the two, two spicy reasons. Rook c4, e the bishop b5. Two dangerous threats. Amazing move, bishop d3. Tao didn't see that move and he played the game, bishop e6. Hey, hey, Lucy Bob, how are you doing? Of course, bishop is not acceptable because we're gonna bring the queen here in a forcing way. Bam, bam, bam. And take back the knight to, I guess, this way. It's not written, but it has to be this. Yes, but black simply cover g3 square. There we go, rook g8. Bishop c4, the same threat. In cafe, question mark. They said uh, nothing to worry about queen set castling. Everything is well protected. Give up the f7 pawn, led to the much safer position than king f8. Bishop b5, keep going. Queen c5, rook c4, the same threat. Queen e5. So, um, here the king is still hanging, placed, and losing c7. In the previous situation, you could lose f7 and have a, but have a pretty safety king's position. So. It's more preferable, of course, to go to the queen side castle in clip before. Rook takes e7, white obtained a considerable advantage and went on to win in Tal Gligoric. There we go. To not say music is very distracting? Really? I, I almost don't hear the music. I can. Hmm. I can make it like that. Do you, do, do you hear it less now? I'm not sure. I almost don't hear the music, so I'm not sure what exactly do you hear. No, it's not classical. Um... <laughs> oh, this game uh, has to be classical. Has to be classical. So let's go back to the game now, uh, where the game starts by this, but he didn't use to play G5. Music off now. <laughs> No, it's not off. Okay, let's rise it up a little bit. I rise it up a little bit. Proud of you? What uh, did you do? Okay, so this is the real game. B takes e3 against Mr. House Hecht. D6. Probably it's still Terry. 92 followed by e4, one of the threat. This move was introduced by Spielmann in 1936 and was uh, later used by Botfinnik, who drew against Keres. He had a game earlier 
in the ear which continue with the bishop d3 somebody else play against him bishop d3 also alternative to the knight d2 of course nature will develop on like that a little bit later to push e4 and e5 threat knight bd7 queen c7 sometimes i am playing like that by black a4 a5 he hits so there didn't see you five five times in a row <laughs> didn't see you a long time ago you didn't share anything what's up with your father are the things getting better or getting worse or are you okay if you'd like you can share if you'd like you can share a personal message <laughs> rook b1 b8 castle g5 i'm getting worse for instance by my sinusoid here i'm getting worse uh but probably you don't see this when you're in front of me <laughs> and only you listen to me um so sometimes terrible headache and after two two days i have a serious tournament so i have to take some medicines too bishop g3 bam 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 bishop takes f3 g takes f3 um no yes 1962 is this game yes knight h5 c5 so this is a classical breakthrough how to use the bishop um you're lost now in this game <laughs> yeah we don't need to check out every single game maybe everything will make sense with background in interesting continuation uh The same as last game? No, 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 no. The last game was with g5. Hey, hey, Romo Ram, how are you doing? Knight d2, e5. Push. Actually, we, we've got a diagram here. He said the g5. Advanced has become a common term in this type of position, but Hector, Hector refrains from it in this game. Yeah. So let's check out the game. Um, e5, 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 let's go. Too many, too many inside games. And now the brilliant move who uh, all the time you decline chat. F3, I guess, space for the bishop. You go to sleep? Due to so tired? Okay, cool 64. Sweet dreams though, thank you so much. <laughs> Invarna. Hey, Mr. Ketchup, do you have the book in front of you? <laughs> or you remember some of the Tau Carrier games? 27. E4, currently also prepare E4, Knight BD7, connect the Knights. Bishop D3 has to develop one day. Knight of Faith, Hector intends to put the Knight to G6, breaking the pin without weakening his king side part. Why pin yourself? Pin myself? Um. <laughs> okay, so knight of fate. And now, breakthrough. Interesting move by Tau. C5. No, please. Um, imaginative and risky move in keeping with his style. White offers a pawn to open lines for his bishops. So eventually this bishop could be opened here, this bishop could be opened here, and rook could be opened through b5. So c5 is bringing all this thing. Uh, in his annotations he doesn't mention whether or not he prepared the idea before the game. And later a little bit better maneuver before castling what could be chat. When it's the game, I think about you all will remember. <laughs> Mr. Ketchup is having amazing memory. We need Mr. Ketchup, Ketchup for upcoming arena too. <laughs> oh wow, huge thanks! Wow, new blitz rating. Yes, yes, it cost me all night. <laughs> Yesterday we have prediction. Nobody vote for. Uh, no, nobody guess how many hours this cost me and it cost me exactly seven hours from 10 10 30 uh, p.m until 5 30 a.m <laughs> arena you can simply check out click on the link below and you can join arena 
It's gonna start after in about 50 minutes. 50 something minutes. Thank you so much, Sotar. Cheers. I said just what the hell to myself? I cannot reach such a poor rating. <laughs> and it cost me seven hours. Uh, I was too. I was so close to stop at 2 a.m. <laughs> so close to stop at 2 a.m. Sometimes you just don't have a luck, you know? You're so close, but you don't have a luck. And you lose game after game, or you start blundering pieces after so many playing. Yeah. You're so close to this rating. No, he talked about my rating. <laughs> you can find my, my account in general here. <laughs> Your last blitz game. Oh, cool. Okay, try to guess what could be a very, very fresh maneuver by White, please. Maybe Logis is not playing so much. 70, 1749. So play like Mikhail Tao. Let's go. I will, uh, I, will now, I will announce tomorrow, but in general, plan to start at 8 p.m. set the simultaneous and who is ever make a first draw or first beat me, or I'm very, very impressed if I beat everyone. Uh, I will select one, one of you who is not having uh, any membership in chess.com and I will donate a one month uh, diamond membership tomorrow in the simuls. But you have to be a sub in the channel. Hehe, <laughs> deal. Night at five. What do you mean night at five? Yeah, if you <laughs> if you meant directly jumping there, yes, this could be true this way. Either this way, you can simply move here. Daily chess. Yeah, but sometimes if you play, for instance, twenty daily chess games, you have to take, I guess, fast decisions. <laughs> All right, so knight f1 was one of the best opportunity for white side. Knight f1, uh, knight e3, knight f5. He didn't use to play that. He played c5. D takes e5. D takes e5, queen takes e5. There we go. Check. It's a battle? No. Hey, good year. How are you doing? We have currently a Ren. And there we go, I'll be glad if you join Arena. 3 plus 2 time control, just one hour. I will analyze some of the games until the rest of the time, so feel free. <laughs> I like uh, so much uh, horses, by the way. I like so much horses. Feel free to join Arena. Tomorrow we have Classical Simul, good year, so if you'd like Classical Simons, OTB games, this is very, very close to it. And then we're gonna have a two weeks vacation. Chat. <laughs> don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> Queen A4C6. My tournament starts on Saturday. With the Blitz. A little bit later, I think so, Rapid. And later, I've got Classical. Each day, one game is Classical, most of all. Uh, the most common time control is 90 minutes plus 30 seconds increment. Alright, it's time to make a castle. Move 16. <laughs> Your attention. Then you can take a then you can take a bath, you can take a dinner and come back to play chess with me. <laughs> okay, queen take c3 was possible, but there is a knight c4, strong continuation. Yeah, and black will be in trouble. Um, knight g6. Knight c4. Well, um, so many notes here. Queen c6, okay. Twenty-six, and now who is going to find out what's the best move for white? Let's go. Of 
Currently, this tournament, uh, this arena is unrated, so feel free to join. How did you get the emote? <laughs> Probably he's subscriber to the Why So Serious. <laughs> rookie one. Um, rookie one. Do you think so? This is a kind of aggressive continuation. I don't. I don't think so. Fireworks <laughs> outside. 22nd of June today. I don't see if we should celebrate something. <laughs> Just the next Dodia, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think it's just the cancer, the next zodiac. <laughs> okay, E5. Uh, join the arena, just uh, you need to be part of the fan club. This costs you several seconds. And then you can simply join this link in the chat. It's for everyone. It's for the viewers too. Another way to play against me is Arena. It's not only on Tuesday, okay? Sometimes I'm doing a rapid simuls. Tomorrow gonna be classical, only for subs. Uh, push, of course, push! And today we have just a regular Arena. Hey, hey, Mr. Gopher, how are you doing? Take, 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 or Q1 in the end of the line? Of course, we've got the pin. Of course! Uh, E5 by Mikhail Tao, where I am. Hmm. E5, B5, counterattack, 4 key. What you gonna do against 4 key? If you have any counterattack or good escaping, let me know. What's wrong with Knight B6? And B6 uh, seems like free knight, no? I mean, the rook is well covered. Mr. Sabatashwa. B5. The technique, the technique to check out and the courage. What the hell are these fireworks outside? I wanna see that. <laughs> Maybe the trees on the way. Cannot really see. This just went on a run. Okay, cool. Um, you miss the rook is protected. Yes, I'm trying to answer to a, a, any single guessing of you just to check out how, how are you thinking. Uh, knight d6 uh, will be a queen takes d6 in between move. Please check out the in between moves and then you will be knight down after I, I take back your queen. So take care, please. Uh, yeah. Oh, possibly, probably. <laughs> nice account. Nice account. Feel free to join Arena here. We're gonna start in about four to five minutes. Or Tricky bishops. Knight 6 doesn't work. I, I see that many people offer Knight 6 but it, it's not that forcing line every single time the counter attack. Use your imagination because we take a look at the games of Mikhail Tau, please. Mikhail Tau. Next move is a pretty, pretty amazing. That's why I'm asking you. I'm not asking you something boring, believe me. It is exploding on the next move. Explosion. Boom, boom, boom. There is a boom, boom, boom on the next move. You've been sleeping. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Hammer could continue this line. Also, Ramo Ram. Mr. Hammer, Ramo Ram. One, two. I see that they are the first one. Queen B3 is the, is a kind of passive, I think so. Maybe interesting, but passive. I, I mean, after Queen B3, you're gonna keep going with C4 pin after Knight D5, you know. So that's the move. Just keep going, please. B takes A4. 
Don't you lose a queen now? Where is the compensation for? Queen down for a knight. Right, Romo Ram want to go for that. Ajlec uh, too. Anybody else? We have one candidate. I'm no, no, waiting for more people to guess moves. Okay, you won by Logis. Okay. Okay, you won. But even if you take back the queen, you will be exchanged down, I think so. At some point, the knight could be hanging. Rook a e1. Maybe I have to check out some more moves. Yeah. Rook a. Oh, rook a e1. You just lose the bishop. Yeah. Bishop takes g6. Bishop f5. Okay. We go to the more forcing line. Why? Because you want to eliminate the knight. You still threat rook e1 pin, and you threat to capture the the rook. All right. And there is no queen side castle. Evacuation because the bishop block out that. All right, let's go. By the way, the situation is not that winning. Uh, by engine here currently, it's showing 0.20 for white side. Almost nothing <laughs> for white. For white side. Rook g8. Keep going. Keep going with attacking chat. Next move. Two exclamation mark marks. Two exclamation marks for white. Let's compare. There are about two moves by Engine who are working. But let's choose the Mikhail Tal continuation. Let's choose the human move. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Who is going to find out the move? Rookie one is very simple. Rook Q1 is very simple chat. Rook Q1 is very simple. Oh, shikalak. So the move I'm just waiting for the other uh, other people to to go for they leave for the stream because I, I was trying to clean the house and it's actually impossible <laughs> so that means that one day if I ever take a bigger house it will be totally impossible <laughs> okay I already saw the move chat boom bishop f5 boom bishop f5 Two exclamation marks. Hey, hey, Otmain, how are you doing? If I guess it often enough, it might eventually be the right move. <laughs> uh, yeah, but Bishop takes g6, I can capture with the queen and travel by my king and having still extra queen in my pocket. Hey, Mr. Ninja, how are you doing? Everyone to be ready tomorrow. Plan to start the Simon 50 minutes from now, tomorrow, before that. 8 p.m. set means. Alright, let's check out what's going on after move 21. Yep, bishop f5. Knight takes h4. Finally, we're gonna take back the queen. Oh, what's up if black simply take back that? A possible probably. Okay, I, I'm gonna show you. Yeah. So bishop takes g6 is actually uh, one of the most possible moves. Yeah, which is leading to the zero zero zero. Yeah, it is possible. Rookie one, you're gonna take back the queen. Uh, um, the question is, uh, aren't you exchanged down? I mean, if you play now the human move, boom boom boom, you're gonna be exchanged down. <sighs> you have some in between moves, but this is like computer continuation. I think even after that, it's hard to find moves like that. And after this, you're gonna be exchanged down. It's not so easy, you know? Um, it's not winning. You're slightly worse, you're exchanged down. So there is a huge possibility to lose the game. Um, 
Hmm. Bishop takes g6. Actually, queen takes g6 seems like a very, very bad move. <laughs> because doesn't matter which rook gonna come here, you limit me pretty much more. And I think so, this is gonna be a checkmate or whatever. Well, actually, knight d7, just like king d7, just knight e5 fork. Easy joke now. Yeah, looks like losing now. <laughs> so when I go back, you, you just have now this kind of war key. After king d7, yeah, whatever first you're... I think this is a human move. Uh, I think this is the human move. First take the queen, then take the bishop. Everything gonna be alright. In the end of the line, we have two pieces against rook. Completely winning. Okay, so we just check out sideline. Sideline was a bishop takes g6. Bishop f5 by Mikhail Tao. It takes h4, bam bam bam, take here. So if uh, now black play bishop a6 because if he uh, take back here, there is a knight d6. <clears throat> uh, knight d6 check, forky. Nobody wish to be forked. Yep, so that's why bishop a6 in between kind of pin and still keep the pressure. This is what we are missing most of the games. Keep the pressure of two pieces to be under attack, keep the pressure of three pieces to be under attack. This is what we are missing very, very often, the counter-attacking moves. Um, <laughs> I have a Porky, somebody order a Porky, uh, yeah. <laughs> Fork. Porky is very funny, it's like li little, little uh, soldier make like that. <laughs> Big hill three times. Cool. If you feel good, why not? Doesn't matter. Maybe somebody is uh, with you by, by his soul, by her soul or whatever. King is seven. Looks like four key. <laughs> now we have an uh, excellent escaping from this four key situation. How? How, 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 how? Excellent escaping from the forky situation. Mm, this is not escaping Glogis. Uh, you're gonna lose two pieces for a rook. Knight f5. It's kind of possible. Oh no, it's not. Knight f5. Knight f5. The pro bishop c4, yes. Knight f5, the problem knight f5 is I gonna take, you have to take and then I gonna take here. Exchange down. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, f1 is hanging, that's why you cannot go for different counter attack than this way. Bishop c4, only one way. Only one way working. So, bishop c4, move 24. Hmm? Rook takes g7. Don't care, <laughs> g3 though. King takes e6, bishop takes a6, yeah? Right, knight f5. And now what do we have? Let's count the pieces. From queen down, white is slightly better. 0 0.7 by engine. This is not so much matter about, but we can just simply analyze the position, analyze the pawn structure. How many isolated pawns you see, chat? How many isol <laughs> isolated you see, chat? Still theory. <laughs> Not really, not really. <laughs> Both still in the book. I I don't believe. <laughs> there are about six, probably there are about six isolated pawns. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Six isolated pawns for black, I mean. <laughs> and if we count the, the white one, six, seven, eight. Eight isolated pawns. <laughs> Eight isolated. I'm not sure how do you calculate, but I think I am calculating all right. <laughs> all right. So knight f5. Hey hey, double h. How are you doing? Mm, rook a b1. Control the open file. Open file. Well, check will be pretty easy uh, decision. F6. F6 is a is a mystic. It is ironic that Hecht, who is something of an endgame expert, was able to navigate the complicated middle game rather well, but now plays poorly in the end game. So F6 was a mystic. More pr 
playable. <laughs> it could be a rook g6. Uh, besides the fact that you're supposed to be pinned, but fast get rid. So rook g6, I guess, covering the sixth rank makes more sense. Or cover the king through this way, the e file, eventual check. Rook e6, it's something like barrier. W what I see, it's something like barrier, rook g6. Or fast bring the rook, fast bring this rook to the to the open file here. Um. <laughs> okay, it's still not over. Why f6 is a mistake? Now we keep going with checking. Rook fd1, wait, f6, rook fd1, king is 7. Rook e1 check, mystic. What is the best continuation of white? Now, this is a pretty simple chess. This is pretty simple continuation. Pretty simple. Rook b7 check. Why? Why you think so? Rook b7 is winning. Just king of eight, and then what? For 30 minutes, we start for Rana. Please play simple chess. Yes, 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 yes. All right, both rooks to the seventh rank probably could be very powerful. Oh, wait a second. Maybe after rook b7, I'm supposed to go there, or it's gonna be checkmate. Bishop c4, king e5, f4, king e4. I don't want to calculate that. Oh, okay, bishop d3. I see. Maybe I can lose the knight in the end of the line, or maybe there is a, some kind of checkmate. King f2 could guarantee bishop d3 checkmate. Okay, king on e4 is definitely not promising square about. Uh, so rook b7, then king f8, only one move. You said double the rooks. All right, I'm gonna take once and I'm gonna bring my rook 2 to the game, like sec second or first rank. I, I don't think so, this is so... Um, you know, so much winning about, okay, e even through this way, now I'm, I'm supposed to bring my rook 2 to the third rank, to the first rank or second rank, just like that. So, I'm not sure exactly where is your advantage. In general, yes. Of course, rook uh, belongs to be on the seventh rank. Um, but there is something else uh, pretty simple here. We should be seven. Not give currently a counter attacking chances. Why, uh, why you chat uh, wish to uh, trade up so much such a rook? Do you think so? The rook currently on b7 is so uh, so amazing to trade it off for such a monster on d1, e to b1. Let's let's compare the bl the blue rooks with the with the red rook, please. <laughs> you know what? D did you did you ever look at the video with Hikaru? I'm not sure I'm supposed to show you, but I think it was in Facebook. How oh, he was in OTB game? He was looking for the mouse. He was looking. He was making like that and looking for the mouse to. to to make the move. Uh, this was totally crazy though. This was totally crazy. You have to see that. I'm gonna share it with with you in Discord maybe. It was crazy. To check out in Facebook maybe. I was looking for the mouse. I'm not sure I can share it with you here. It's scary of hundred rules of restrictions, you never know. Okay, yes, it's in Facebook. So who is having Facebook? I'm gonna share it with you. It, it's here, the link. I'm gonna share it in Discord too. Um, Metimetric also for me. Some interesting Rapid games to play for. Um, <laughs> other streamers as well. Uh, I'm streamer as well. Feel free to promote uh, yourself also here. For instance, videos like that. Nakamura Paterial Mish Mishku Facebook. So, yeah. Couple of pants. <laughs> yeah. 
Couple of pants, but... Alright, uh, guys, so here, do you think so? The power of the blue rooks makes sense to the power of <laughs> red rook. Do you think so? Uh, they're equal? For sure, I know the answer. And that's why... Oh, come on. And that's why you just go to play simple chess, okay? You just go to play simple chess. Oh, I saw something else. Funny. Okay. So simple chess is bishop b7. <laughs> Which move is this? 29. Comments better. <laughs> the rookie won. This was the winning move after rook d8. He didn't play that in the game. Bishop takes c6. He didn't play simple chess. So we can blame on Mikhail Tao. Rook takes d1, rook takes d1, a3 push, king f2. Blake is in serious trouble. Why? Because, again, um, <clears throat> uh, this is a very, very bad place rook, okay? He didn't play that. So he played rook e1 in the game. There we go. Rook e1, king d6, king f2. Now misses the chance to repeat the position and take the c6 pawn. So he could do a watch out. You, if you already, um, if you already know that, if you already know that, uh, or if you already see what you ever miss, you can come back to the same position. There we go. It's so sneaky. <laughs> it's so sneaky. And so. Uh, easy to check out. So King F2, C4, such a mistake. No describes H5 is more tenacious maintaining the knight, in it. and it's important position. But as part of points out that Rook E D1, H5, Rook E D1 before King E7. Bishop B7 wins for white with the same threat. Okay. Um, C4. Why C4 is a mistake? But he did a mistake too. G4. What could be a pretty simple continuation here? How is this pawn acceptable? Probably everyone could take the pawn like that. Uh, the the question is why black uh, sacrifice uh, that pawn uh, the old plan I guess is to activate the king a more flexible position of the knight and so on Nine five so difficult to stream every day new probably Arabic occasional French and English streams oh it's main goes to streaming good luck we're gonna ride you we're gonna ride you <laughs> We're gonna ride you soon, just let me know. <laughs> Arabic. Anna heb samaka. Salam alaikum, alaikum salam. C4, SP34, what, what was that? Bulgarian as well? <laughs> You're supposed to stream right now? You're so tired? Mr. Ninja is also a streamer! Excellent! You want fish? Non-stop! All day, all night, I want fish, yes. Seafood, most of all. Seafood. <laughs> okay, chat, so C4... Um, the easiest way to capture the pawn is not by bishop, because we need a bishop for eventual uh, patterns here. And control too. Rookie 4. Yes, there we go. Excellent. 97. Capture this pawn with this rook. Looks good. He played g4. g4 is a mistake. 97. Rook b7, your move. Fin. Rook a g8. Excellent move. Ship takes c4. I don't see anything excellent to lose a pawn. Now, currently, white is extra pawn. 
supposed to be winning. Let's play simple chess. Boom. Capture here, capture here. Rook b4. Keep, keep this rook's position to take uh, more and more. Um, okay, b1, h5. Rook c8. Mistake. Rook c8 mystic f5 uh, could be more playable to break through, break through um, where white is having advantage and this is the king side part. If you destroy that, <laughs> now for instance after g takes h, uh, for sure white will not take. But if take, we can simply count the out isolated pawns: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> nine isolated pawns in this case. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, so I think h3, of course, uh, should be the reaction of white against that. And then uh, the amazing thing is black can keep going with the h, h5, f5, h5. <laughs> Still theory? <laughs> of course not. Feel free just by the way to join Arena. I will, jo I will join soon. I will analyze some of the games of the top final standings. Okay, so they used to play rook c8. Okay, chat, do we need to keep, do we need to try to keep c3 or we can simply capture a4? What do you think so? Do you want to take or you want to cover c3 somehow? <laughs> theory. <laughs> no, it's not theory. <laughs> You cannot defend a4, but you too also cannot defend C c3 because I can bring the other rook, I guess. Nobody will be at the top at the end of the arena. <laughs> uh, rook takes a4. You're not supposed, yes, to to keep that completely because he's he's going uh, he's going to double rooks or, or the other candidate is rook c4 and trade of that. Okay, rook takes a4. Yes, rook takes a4. Rook takes e3, it's a long game. Rook a6, kings 5, capture here. h5, h3. Now keeps the pawns connected. ag, ag. Of course, you should keep the pawns connected. Rook h7, mystic. There's still some chances, don't forget about uh, There's still two rooks on the board. You have huge chances, not small chances, huge chances to make a draw. Who is going to find out the excellent move for white currently? Go, go! Excellent move for white! King G4, uh, King G3 is not that excellent. Go, 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 go. Rook A6. Mm, I don't see the threat of Rook A6. What's the easiest way to win the game, chat? What's the easiest way to win the game? Of course, push! Come on! Of course! <laughs> uh, 
All right. Of course, push. G5. There we go. <laughs> so they're now playing like Tau. Rook H5. Rook F5. Protection. Rook C2. King G3. It's always push. <laughs> That's why I make the channel. That's my... I make my Twitch channel. <laughs> <laughs> because wanted to show you how simple could be the chess just push to the end and that's it it's over uh oh sorry king c4 here sorry it's not rook c4 oh delay that king c4 rook e e5 attacking here the, this end game to be fair is very complicated but by defending the f5 rook Tau gets ready to push the g pawn bam 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 not only attack d5, but protecting this, so you're ready for push with g6. d4, g6, now who is going to be faster? No point to calculate. Rook h1, rook c5. You have to be ready to eliminate this boy, maybe. In d3. Okay, now it's pretty simple. One rook and game. Okay, how to make a barrier? How to make a barrier? Stream title, <laughs> yes. Why rook f5? F? You mean c5? What do you mean rook f5? Rook f5 was pretty. Long time ago. Rook e5? Think f2. I think f2 I can give you a check maybe or. Think f4 or g1. The correct way if uh, black is going uh, down. I'm just showing you a thing, so this is important to check out the final, final moment where you're completely winning. Now rook d5 is winning, so after push, you can also simple push to just to deflect the rook from from there. And uh, you can cover the pawn and think about to to block out the pawn even by king. So if king e2, you can also bring the king up and you're gonna have a second uh, pass pawn. If black uh, try to take it, you just take it by forcing way and come back. Okay, so uh, the move in the game was rook g1, rook g5 barrier and the game is over. Take, take, push, 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 queen, queen, and what could be the final move to play simple? Yeah, I'll check out the logist consideration. Queen b3, queen b3, trade of the queens for those of you who still are not sure what's going on, you just exchange the queens and push the f pawn to the end. Let's check out the uh, longest question. I think the question was why here rook f5. Rook f5, you know, guarantee uh, guarantee control of the g file. Because you cover that, you cover that, you cover that, you cover that. So the only one way to block out the pawn is going to be g5. So currently here the push will, will be connected with the rook g5. Yeah, probably still winning, but... Again, you should bring both rooks here, and, and and now you know you're not that flexible even by king. So probably it's still winning. It's about plus two, yes. But it was much easier if opponent is limited or if you're a little bit more flexible with your king's position to make this barrier. What we just uh, check out. Okay. Your king is stuck. Uh, backward, uh, backward position. Maybe you can push f4, but then you have to be very, very precise, careful about any kind of perpetual checks. This is the dangerous part when you play two rooks against two rooks. Uh, opponent is having some more, um, some more chances about perpetual check. Okay, I think that else here could be a tau by a white. Against who was this guy? Hecht or something like that. Hecht. Game 20, Mr. Hecht. Game 20, Hecht. Hecht. Game 20. <laughs> year is not really matter. Year. 1962? 1962. <laughs> okay, done. 
let's see. If... Uh, well, the tiles white one, yeah. Right. Um, we have maybe 10 more uh, minutes to the tournament. Let's join the tournament before that. Check out. Oh, 14 minutes so far. Uh, so feel free, to, yes, to join the paint club uh, if you still didn't, and then join the arena. Enjoy with the 3 plus 2 one hour duration who will be the leader, number one or number two. I'm going to check out two, three games out of that after after the tournament is finishing. Uh, the real Brazilian beast is writing down something to the Jeff Hubner. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. We have 15 more minutes. This game was uh, three or four pages so far. We keep going with game 21, on the Tolly Benik, Yerevan, 1962, Mikhail Tal, game 22. Mm, let, let's cover two games. You see, one one game almost cost us one hour or something like that, with the distractions, but... <laughs> um, play, 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 come on, where is this analyze? Uh, learn, analyze, yeah. Okay, set up a position. Bam, bam, bam. Mikhail Tau is again white. Is again having white pieces this time. E4, E5, 93, 96. He's kind of unique player. Play both moves, as you see. E4, E to D4. Yeah, let's let's mention that. Um, Bishop E5, A6. Bishop A4, Knight F6. Castle Bishop E7. Classical Rui Lopez, Rook E1, D6. Rui Lopez opening, Morphe defense. Uh, Benic main opening was the Sicilian, by the way. But E5 uh, was also a regular part of his repertoire, so he tried to surprise Mikhail Tao. Um, he had never played this particular line beforehand, so Bishop takes E6. Every time I said that, if you're used to play the Steinitz system with the d6, uh, like uh, most of all Sirhain used to play that against me, um, I think it's a very good deal to eliminate the knight and double in the pawns. This is giving us an uh, eventual, uh, in advance, advantage in the center based on the pawn structure. d4, ed, queen takes d4. Um, sometimes I capture with the knight, sometimes I capture with the... Oh, let's show you something. Maybe this could be for Sir Hain if you watch the stream later, how he could have a struggle. This is another interesting game, just fast checking, to show you the whole plan of this breakthrough. Bishop f5 supporting something spicy. Rook b1, simple rook b1, rook b8, rook b1. In D3, finishing the development without problems, so white is pretty pretty flexible in this kind of variation. We see a bishop g5, rook e8. And now, what's the next step for white? What's the next step now for white chat? Even if you don't know the position, you have to know, yeah. The game plays Bishop's War, not Bishop C5. He's real man like me. <laughs> no, 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 I have several games against Sirhain with this uh, variation. I think so. Uh, rather than Queen D2. Queen D2, very often in this line, is kind of... You could be kind of hanging on E4. Queen D3 is also supporting this. There is no knight on c6 who is able to bother you, so queen d3 is a very flexible, you're supposed to go here, you're attacking a6 if you see that. Queen d3 is uh, controlling much more squares to the both sides of the board. It should be 5. e5 chat, e5. Because if black now is supposed to capture you, you will enjoy to the end of the game playing against such an ugly pawn structure. I'm trying to ex explain you why this variation is so bad for black based on the pawn structure and why if you ever play this by white and if you see this 6 you must capture the uh, piece on c6. Analyze this by engine and anyway also different kind of recommendations. So I know that position uh, black gonna struggle in this position. 
Uh, we can just check out the upcoming tactic here. E takes D6, Rook takes E1. Rook takes E1, C takes D6. Knight B3, D5. Push, Knight F6, Queen D4. Now obtained a positional advantage and eventually won in Tau Petrusa, Yerevan 1986. Two years before I'm born. <laughs> Two years uh, is played Tau Petrosian uh, 1986 before I'm born. Hey Alex, how are you doing? Feel free to join on time in the fan club. Also in my blog, I'm gonna announce tomorrow the Simon or today, I'm not sure. And feel free to join Arena. Hey, hey, Stefan, how are you doing? So queen d4, let's go back. Now to go for the main continuation, queen d4. Oh, Murphy, castle. Knight c3, c5. Again, common response, queen d3, just to keep the bishop open, at the same time covering the center, at the same time we already uh, talk about control of a6. Bishop b7, bishop f4, the same pattern, the same or similar idea with e5 pushing. e5 is amazing because attacking the knight 2. Knight h5, bishop e3, bishop f6. Soon this knight gonna be out. So now uh, we have the diagram, but um, Tao uh, play an interesting move, knight d5. No fight for the initiative with an um, imaginative pawn sacrifice. That's me, pawn sacrifice. Uh, when reading Tao's annotations, I found it surprising that he didn't attach any kind of punctuation to this move. <laughs> so what's up after bishop takes b2? Of course, we can four key the bishops. So after bishop takes e5, which which bishop deserves to be taken? Chat. This is a very important question. Which bishop deserves to be taken? Hey Nexus, uh, you have to be part of the fan club, uh, feel free to join there, refresh the website and come back to the fan, come back to the arena then, click on this link below. Uh, so first you have to be part of the fan club, yeah. Um, it's too difficult to decide. 
Always such a difficult questions. He chose to play. Uh, I mean, he chose to take the the five bishop on uh, not destroy the pawn structure, but at the same time, I think so. This bishop is also a good defender. But now, if you're provoked to come back, the knight will be out. So all the time you're ready for. Um, <laughs> you you're ready for g4. Okay. Game over, bro. By the way, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I'm not in the list of the winners. <laughs> so it's not a selfish uh, prediction this time. Um, you can vote for anybody else. Okay, so he didn't take. His opponent didn't take could bid two. We have a little bit more time to the arena. Oh no, he took. Sorry, he took. Rook b1. We should take z5. Yeah, it's happening in the game. Sorry, it's happening in the game. He takes d5. Could take z5 also was kind of interesting. Ah, this game is shorter. Rook b8. Let's ask you. Rook b8. Woo! Move by two exclamation marks. Move by two exclamation marks. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't see them in the chat, that's why I put the people in the chat. <laughs> the Pain or Jersey also could be in, in the prediction. You never know. Also, I'm not there. I just check out the people in the chat. <laughs> maybe Mr. Go for it. Maybe somebody else could be the Romuram also could be in the in the prediction. I, I don't see them in the tweet chat, that's why. I was checking out just just these people. I cannot open up all the all the links in front of you at the same time. Alright. Genius move by Mikhail Tal. Two exclamation marks, please. Let's go. How many minutes? Two more minutes. Let's go. You have two minutes to find out the genius move of Mikhail Tal. Two more minutes to the runner. Let's go. NG5. Not so genius. <laughs> Not so genius. <laughs> Not so genius. <laughs> Wigan. Oh, yeah. Thanks for subscribing. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Zutar. Bishop H6. Not so genius. G7 is well protected currently. <laughs> Electra. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know. I could check out the, the list and then make the prediction, but you you can stay you can stay calm if you don't think so somebody is able to win that who takes b2 is interesting but how to continue maybe this is the problem genius move genius move try to find out go 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 we're not supposed to finish the game but bishop g5 alexander looks interesting knight g5 bishop g5 still i don't see the move Oh, Wagner is here. Oh, all right. It takes stage seven is interesting, but you have to be ready for continuation, not just sacrifice like crazy. <laughs> he copy paste maybe from the last week. Drink the tea in the coffee. Cafe. The cafe. Genius move by Mikhail Tao. Come on, Tao finds an amazing way to trap the bishop. Hello? Trap the bishop. With the help of a back rank mating motive. I'm reminded of the Gitterman's words. Tao's imagination had no boundaries. 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 <laughs> Bet in the poll. It's prediction. Trap the bishop. Mr. Hammer. Hey, hey, John Twitch. C3. 